I absolutely love Wyoming. I'm so happy that my wife and I made the decision to move here 27 years ago. The let's go attitude that everybody has, just the opportunity for adventurers there every day. Genesis Alkali is the largest producer of natural soda ash in the Western Hemisphere. Soda ash is used, you know, in a bunch of downstream products. A lot of people probably have never heard of it, but it's, it's there and we touch it and use things every day that soda ash goes into. Lithium for your batteries, a number of food ingredients, including baking soda, and then the largest is glass production. Cannot make glass without soda ash. We started underground mining 75 years ago. You know, 90% of the world's thrown is right here in Southwest Wyoming. People think mining and they think kind of base mineral. You pull it out of the ground and you ship it in a rail car. Natural soda ash is different. There's a bunch of processing and we have to innovate on both fronts. We have to innovate in the mining and continue to improve there, but we have to continue to improve our manufacturing processes as well to stay competitive. We actually invented all the processes that are in use today in Wyoming. We licensed them to our competitors along the way to kind of grow the industry. So that innovation is in our DNA. As we grow and innovate, the jobs become more complex, so that education is even more important. We've actually worked with University of Wyoming, the college in Rock Springs, and the local high schools to create programs so then we can go hire them and prepare them for the future workforce. I think what's amazing about, you know, the Wyoming Business Council and other state agencies really is just we're on a first name basis with those folks. You know, they know us, we know them. We don't have to call them, they're calling us to ask, you know, what do you need? Are you guys interested? You know, and that's one of the things that's amazing about Wyoming, you know, being a smaller state population wise, we're not a number to them. It's more like a collaborative relationship rather than just a business relationship. We've had people from our industry that have been mayors, legislators, heads of agencies, you know, so they've come through our business and then they go into these other roles and they understand what it takes to run a business. We have a lot of employees who are multi-generational. They want to stay in the community because they grew up there and love what Green River brings. So Green River really is a neat little community. I mean, the river running right through town creates a lot of character. The people that live there are just great people, hardworking, and they want to excel at what they do, whether it's working at one of the mines or managing one of the businesses. We have so many people that for 30, 40, even 50 years have worked here, you know, and it's, that's just kind of the Wyoming way. If you set out to do something and you commit to doing it, you're going to do it. We are leaders in safety, technology, manufacturing, operations, mining. They want to be leaders. They want to improve. It's really amazing. I look around here and I can't help but think back to, you know, 75 years ago, the folks that were building this place from the ground up. The dedication that they must have had. So many great people that came through and left a legacy for my generation. But you have to continue to think long term like they did. Where are we going to be in 10, 15, 20 years to make sure what we're doing today also sets us up for the long term future and then leave a good legacy for the next generation. The future of Wyoming and Genesis together, really, it, it comes down to the can do attitude of, of Wyoming people. You know, we're going to figure out how do we grow, how do we protect the natural resources around us. We're going to work with these folks here in Wyoming that we know on a first name basis and we're going to continue to do that going forward. I think it is the frontier spirit. When you live in Wyoming, you kind of have to be that way.